guys how are you all today's lesson is about spreadsheet formula now remember we did this spreadsheet before and we learned how to make the sum auto sum today we will repeat this again and I will remind you about uh, the simple things that we need to keep in mind every time you use Excel so let's just remember how to do the auto sum you click into the total and next to the total the cell where you want the sum to appear then you click auto sum it will automatically ask you are these the cells you want to make sum for yes simply press enter don't click on the mouse or anything all right so it's as simple as that remember what are these cells okay cell is an intersection of the column and row we can get the cell reference so this is b5 okay this is c5 this is b13 you will see the column and row will be highlighted whenever you click on any cell all right so you would get to know the name or the cell reference which is the cell name obviously okay so let's start we will learn today about the percentage what is a percentage we will learn about spreadsheet formula cell references all right we're gonna learn about these special things and how to reform operations as well i want you to read page 42 43 carefully slowly before you watch this video okay first of all the percentage is another way to show a fraction okay so that's what we're gonna use we're gonna make a percentage for the numbers that we have here all right the numbers of doctors computer programmers and so on and we're gonna it, it is a way to show uh it's another way to show the fraction okay and it's always out of hundred understood perfect 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 so what we're gonna do basically is to follow the book instructions starting from here cell c5 in order to start a formula always start with an equal so i press equal every formula starts with an equal we will make this operation it's equal b5 which is this cell b5 so i will click on it you have a choice to click on the cell or to type it i will click on this one b5 divided by the operations okay that we need to know they are plus minus the division and multiplication signs all right divided or multiplied by so we want to divide the sign of division is this slash over here so this is the division if we want to do multiplication it's the star if we want to do um if we want to have a subtraction it's a minus and we have also the plus we've got these keys in the right side of the keyboard so now we're going to use the division okay and we're going to divide it with the total so we're going to click on the total click on the cell with the total number of students and we will have the result okay once we press on enter remember any formula anything you use with equals don't press the keyboard anywhere otherwise something will happen so just press enter that's it okay this is kind of what we need to know for today so 
use this to make the other percentages over here. And remember to save your work. Please like this video and subscribe.